Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can save your beautiful GG plots from getting messed up uh, when you export your plot as an image with GG Save. If you work in our studio, then you see on the left, you see your code and you see your beautiful plot in the plots window on the right hand side of your uh, our studio window. But the problem with the our studio window is that it isn't fixed in size. And if you change the size of the window, then you also immediately change the, how your plot looks. You can solve this issue by fixing the image size and the image resolutions of the plots you see in our studio. This you can do with the camcorder package. After you've installed the camcorder package using the instructions from its GitHub page, you can call the ggrecord function, which enables that all plots that you generate will be exported as an image file and then shown in our studio. Since ggrecord exports plots as images, it works pretty much the same as ggsave but it needs an additional argument that specifies a directory where all the images will be saved in. Notice that this doesn't fix your problems with the sizes, but now you see the images immediately in the viewer window of our studio and you can iteratively work to fix the sizes of your plot. Even better, you can call ggrecord before you start to generate the first plot. This way you're already working on a canvas basically that already has the final size and the final resolution so you do not need to change the sizes later on. One thing you have to watch out for when you're using camcorder is that it exports your images using a transparent background. It's a bit annoying because in the viewer window of our studio it looks as if the background is white but it really isn't and you need to change the theme of your GG plot to account for that. So just go into the theme function, set the background to white or whatever color you want and then the images that you export also will have the correct background color. Now, if you later on decide that you want to have a smaller image, say you originally planned to do a 20 by 20 image, but now you decided it needs to be smaller, it needs to be 10 by 10. So in this case, I'm using half the width and half the height of what I originally planned. In theory, you could just call GG record again and uh, with the correct new dimensions and then change the sizes uh, later on of the points or the text or whatever but you can save yourself some work by just calling gg save with the new dimensions of your image and using the scale argument to change uh, this uh, the image so that your final image will look the same all the text will be appropriately sized but uh, the whole image is just a bit smaller Finally, let me mention one thing that you have to watch out for when you're also using the show text package. In case you don't know show text, it is a package that helps you to use all kinds of different fonts in your plots. But you have to be aware that show text by default uses a different resolution than what camcorder or ggsave uses. Both ggsave and camcorder by default use a resolution of 300 dpi, which is a great value you should use because it's, it will re uh, result in high quality images but the show text package by default uses a different resolution and if you don't change that then all your text sizes or all your text will look really weird either they will be small or they will have really weird spacing between words so we need to be aware of that. As you can see, here I've used the show text package to import the Fira Sans font from Google. You will notice that the text is way too small and this is because the show text uses not the correct resolution. To make sure that show text uses the correct resolution, just call the show text op functions and set the DPI to 300 there and then your font sizes will look uh, normal again. All right, that's it for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this short video. If you did, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also check out the description of this video where I've listed a couple of helpful resources. And that being said, I hope that you have a nice day and I will see you next time.